I'm going to show you guys. Some of you guys are wondering if things really dirty right now. Uh, some of you guys that watched me build this bug, um, you noticed that uh, when I got to the end, I was towards the end, I was kind of in a hurry. Had to get it painted so it could be outside. So I kind of walked away from uh, fixing the hood the right way. And uh, one of our watchers, Hood Historian, who's an avid watcher, he has a channel, Hood Historian. So a little shout out there for Hood. Um, mentioned that he was interested in learning about how to line up a Volkswagen Hood. So I'm kind of at that stage right now with this car. Um, I just decided to step back and get this done and get this thing lined up. And uh, that way... I can move on, you know, but I, it's just been driving me nuts because every time I drive it, I have a gap right here. So let's take a look at that. to do this. So what I was going to say, so I kind of lost my place here. Um, so if one of the things you can do is if your hood is too wide from here to here because it got hit in the front and pushed these sides out is to actually use a come or a tie down strap and just go around from here to here and then narrow the hood. So sometimes you have to do that to get it to line up. Um, it's like I said, it's a hundred percent tweaking. There's nothing to adjust. There's only one place you can adjust and that's these slotted bolts right here. Okay. So that's it. Those slotted bolts and that's it. Everything else except for this right here can be moved over just a little tiny bit when, but when you move it over a little bit this way what it'll do is it'll it'll open up the gap on this side and close the gap on this side so because you only have three points so let's go take a look at the 65 sunroof um i was really fortunate to have one that shuts like that and it's probably the only car i've ever seen that actually shut like this one and uh, most of them have had some damage to where the front end doesn't work. But for some reason, that car, um, it was damaged in the front. But for some reason, it's amazing. So let's take a look at the hood gap on the 65 sunroof. It's absolutely perfect all the way around. This is the only one I've ever had that was this good. Um, normally, you get some amount off you see how that one's just super tight everything's like perfectly even all the way around again this isn't scratch this is a little bit of black silicone i need to wipe off i haven't detailed this car at all but listen to this hood you hear that listen you just drop it and it goes right into the place and it's already shut right there that's how perfect this hood is. It's the only one I've ever had that just drops right into the hole. I mean, you can you can let go of it and it goes into the hole. So, I mean, I've had, I don't know, 100, some, 200, 300, I don't know, 100 plus Volkswagen Bugs. And that's the only one, guys. So, if you're expecting to get that, um, you're going to be spending weeks of time to get your hood to shut right, um, to shut like that. Um, because it's like I said, I, I don't know, maybe one when it was new, I don't even know if they were that good. So it's up a little bit. Let's do that again. Let's listen to that hood. It doesn't misses the bumper. That's the other thing. Sometimes you got to tweak your bumper out. You got to, 
you know, space your bumper to make it so that it misses the bumper. Shut. Just barely push it and shuts on its own. So, anyway, that's the only one I've ever got. So, <laughs> if you're going to try to make yours like that, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of tweaking, a lot of just playing around and just sitting there and be patient. It's going to take you probably a week to get your hood shot like that. If you play with it enough, you can probably do it. But, like I said, I'm, that's the only one I've ever had. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. That's a little bit about hoods. Um, remember, adjust this first. The gap here so that it's even all the way across and then see what you need to tweak in the front remember you have, might have to tweak the hood you might have to tweak the fenders with the fenders off it's a lot easier to do and look at how that gap there is exactly the same well there's still a slight bit of difference so maybe the hood's actually splayed a little bit i don't know i don't know this hood wasn't even in that great a shape either but it just shuts amazing so I'll talk to you guys in the next video.